You know, getting your Google business profile pushed to the three pack of Google takes quite a few different things. A lot of people don't tell you that here on YouTube. It's a lot of factors involved. One of those factors is the actual website that you connect to your Google business profile, that it does play a big role in pushing your listing to the top. But it's not the actual design of the website. It's the structure of the website that counts. So I'm going to share with you guys how you should structure your website to give your Google business profile a big boost and help push that thing to the top of the search results. What's up there guys is here once again with get busy LLC, helping contractors and home services understand this internet and show them how to use it to generate more leads for this business. And in this video, I want to talk about the Google business profile and getting that sucker front and center, for all the potential customers looking for the services you have in your particular market and how to get that thing ranked at the top of Google search results. As you go through YouTube here and you try to learn a bunch of things of how to what makes a business rank up high on the search results, a lot of them tend to make it sound kind of easy. And in a way, it's really not super easy, but in a way it really is. If you just understand Google's rules, you can kind of figure out what it takes to get a business profile to rank up high on the search results. One of the things that people don't really talk about too much, or maybe they do, I'm not sure. I look on YouTube sometimes, but it's the actual structure of your website, not the design, how elegant, how nice, how sexy your website is. It's the structure and how it's outlined from what I've seen and doing a bunch of these websites, building a bunch of websites for different industries. Some of the things that I've noticed and it's helped push these businesses profiles to the top of the search results. And one of those things is the structure of the site. So I want to share with you guys a diagram that's going to show you how you should structure your website so that way you can see it in your own mind. So when you're out there getting yours built, this is the, the formula you should follow or if somebody built your website, you can have them go over there and fix it and just structure it in a different way that really feeds Google all the information and tells Google very, very specifically all the services you provide in that particular market. So all those customers that are looking for the services that you already provide, when they pull out their phone and look, type that in, you know, that service near me, your listing will show up and people will, a lot of times not even visit your website, just strictly click the phone number and go straight to a phone call. But the website that's connected to it feeds so much information to that listing and it helps push it to the top. So let me show you how you should structure your website. So here's a visual of how your website should be outlined at a very, very basic level. I mean, bare bones. Let's say you just got into business or you don't have a website at all. You got one built out. This is my personal preference in structuring a website that I've seen over the years rank extremely well. And if you connect it to your Google business profile, it helps push that listing towards the top. Of course, there's a bunch of other factors. It's just, just one of those factors, right? So the way I structure a site is always with your main service and in your location, an about page, a contact page, and then I create at minimum six different service pages for the services that you provide. For example, let's say you're a junk removal business. Obviously, your main category is junk removal in your town. And one of those many services you probably do is appliance removal, furniture removal, uh, commercial junk removal, property cleanouts. Maybe you offer dumpster rentals and so on and so on, right? I always use the example of Fresno because it's just one word towns. So it makes it easy to explain. So junk removal, Fresno. Appliance removal, Fresno. Furniture re removal, Fresno. Commercial junk removal, Fresno. Property cleanouts, Fresno. And so on and so on. And then what I always like to do is create additional location pages around the areas of where you do business. For example, go back to the example of Fresno. There's smaller towns around the area. I'd pick the ones that are most popular. I believe have the most volume. You know your business better than anybody. And you start building out location-based businesses. So let's say there's a town next to Fresno called Clovis. So junk removal, Clovis, California. Another town called Dinuba, California there. Junk removal, Dinuba, California. And so on and so on. There's a bunch of little towns out there. Pick at least five towns and start building additional location pages. Now, as you build out these pages, what you have to do is make sure that those your homepage links out to each individual service page, just like this, right? And I'll share with you guys an example so you guys can see this clearly. And then on your actual service pages, to always make sure you have a link that points right back to the homepage. Right. So you're feeding all this information to Google, letting them know that you're like just providing your end user, all the services you provide in that location. You're making it crystal clear 
not just to Google, but when your customers land on this page, they'll get a feel of how your entire website navigates. And for a lot of businesses, believe it, a lot of local contractors and things like that with very little competition, this is all it really takes. You know, make sure you structure your website correctly. You follow all the on-page SEO that I talk about in all my other videos here on YouTube. And of course, you do the exact same thing with these location service pages. You link those back to the homepage and all that interlinking. When Google crawls that website, it's trying to it sees that you're trying to give your end user a good user experience. So I want to share with you guys an example of a person I did this in an industry deck builder, which is very, very easy to rank for online, depending on the location. There's not very many deck builders building out sites, trying to rank them and anything like that. So it's really, really easy to beach competition if that's some of the industries that you're in. The other ones are like concrete contractors, asphalt paving contractors, these these types of land clearing, that sort of things. Those are extremely easy to rank for if you just follow these structures correctly. So let me show you guys an example really quick. Here's a website I helped a contractor get built out. I can't even remember when I did a long time ago, but I just once in a while check on see how it's doing for the keyword. The main keyword we wanted to hunt for here was deck builder in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, right? Search volume 70 a month. Obviously, there's not going to be a ton of people looking for a deck builder as compared to like carpet cleaning or roofing or junk removal. Those searches are in the hundreds, depending on the area, even thousands, depending on the population of the area. But as you check out this website, you're going to see that it, the way I structured it and interlinking the pages really, really helped with pushing this thing to the top. First of all, it's number one here in the organics. That's pretty cool right there. And they are also in the Google map listing. This is where we want to be. Right. So let's take a look at the site to see the structure of it. Right. Just like I explained earlier, your main service in your main area, deck builder, Lehigh Valley. Right. And as I explained, you create the services one, two, three, four, five. With this guy, we only did five service pages, but you'll see that, like, for example, wood decks links out to the wood decks page with deck builder, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Right. And if you go back to composite decks, Composite Deck Builder, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, right? And then as you scroll through this website, you're going to see towards the bottom, there's a link that points right back to the homepage. Same with the other one. The deck builder, the wood deck builder is a page that links right back to the homepage. Do you see what I'm saying? It's really well structured and really well designed. And it's one of the many reasons this guy is ranking very, very high in that Google map listing because of the way we structured this website. It's feeding all this information to the listing. Obviously, Google liked the website enough that it placed all the way at the top of the organic listings as well. And that's how you should structure your website. Now, let's say you're in a more competitive niche like roofing or plumber, or HVAC, junk removal, things like that. You're going to need a lot more pages, a lot more information, almost like an encyclopedia of information that you give your clientele, which also feeds the Google's algorithm, whatever it uses to crawl these websites, and you transfer all that information to your Google business profile. So one of the things you could do is create even more service pages, or you can start building out subcategories of the service page. So for example, let's go back to junk removal. This is easy to make an example of, right? So this is junk removal Fresno. You go down to here, and then this is appliance removal in Fresno, right? So what the next step is to create subcategories of that page, right? So let's say you appliance, you remove refrigerators, you remove washers, you remove dryers, you uh, disconnect dishwashers and haul those away. You disconnect or remove old water heaters, things like that. So you start building subcategory pages of this main service page, right? So then you link out to these pages from this page right here, just like this. And then you also start creating a link that points right back to this specific page. So what you're telling the search engine is that you provide this service. Here's one of the main services we provide. And there's even subcategories of each one of those services with pages that are interlinking. So all this interlinking is telling Google how this website navigates, right? And you're trying to give your end user a good user experience. So let me show you guys some examples of this scenario and how it builds up even more authority. It just tells Google, this is the guy to go to look at just the amount of information this guy's given for even the subcategories of things and push that listing to the top. So here's a grid. This is a 15 mile grid for an asphalt paving company out in Reno. You can see we're completely blanketing this whole area. Once you go past even 10 miles, 
it tends to lose its like, like power, right? It starts to, to fade away, but you can see this completely just dominating this whole area because we followed this strategy along with everything else, right? There's like I said, there's more factors than this, but this is one of six that I see that's very, very important to ranking on the map listings, right? This is for his main keyword he wants to get found. He's just blanketing this entire area, right? So if I type in the keyword, this is incognito window, so I'm not saving any uh, history on here. That's why well, he's number one there, map listings, and there's his site. But let's take a look at the site, right? We followed that same formula, right? He's got all his service pages, and they all link out to individual service pages for this town, right? But we're starting to add, we've been adding as time progresses because there's more competition, starting to figure this SEO stuff out. And Reno's pretty big, it's big, uh, big demand for paving out there, right? So we started creating, so asphalt driveways, we started creating subcategory pages for like new driveways, overlays, sur surfacing repair, seal coating, all that stuff, right? So now when we visit the driveway paving page, this page will link out to those subcategory pages, right? So driveway overlays, watch, I'll link out to in a new window. And let's do this one too, driveway resurfacing in a new window so you guys can see. So as for overlays, right? We we build a page specific for that. Same with resurfacing, I built a page specific for that, right? So now we create a link that points right back to his service page right here, your driveway page. Back to that page, now this page, links back to this page, the main category. We're following that diagram I was explaining. Now I have one more example to share with you guys. And this is one of the more difficult ones I've had ranking on Google, but I've been able to do it and been holding them tight in that top spot of the three pack. And it's for a junk removal company out here in Cincinnati, all in one junk removal, right? So I'm gonna show you guys an example of why I believe this is what Google is looking for, right? So let's say I lived out in Cincinnati and I just decided I need to get rid of a fridge I have in my garage. And I just typed in refrigerator removal and hit search. That's all I typed, right? I'm gonna see their listing here at the top. And what I did for them was I built a specific page for freezer and refrigerator removal in Cincinnati. This is one of their subcategories for one of their main services. Right. And as I scroll through here and I've taken a look at the page, I'm like, perfect. These guys will get rid of my fridge. Let me give them a call, uh, whatever I need to do, right, to get or schedule an estimate, whatever. But as I'm reading this, right, I'm scrolling through here and I see a link that says we safely remove your old appliance. I click on this. I'm like, huh, what does that mean? I click on it. Right. And it goes, oh, appliance removal. Oh, so they remove all appliances here in Cincinnati. You know what? I just happen to have a washer and dryer that's been sitting in my lawn. I mean, in my backyard for like the past three years, I need to get rid of, you know what? I might as well call them up and get rid of my appliances. This is the way that I see that Google's when it's crawling these sites and everything, it's trying to see that you provide all these services and then the way that you structure your site helps your customers. So you're showing Google that you're trying to be very, very helpful to your customer with the way that you structure your site. So it's going to help push your listing to the top, just like it has for these guys. Uh, in a very, very, look at this, 1,600 searches per month for junk removal for these three keywords. And I've been able to push them at the top with everything else that I've done, not just the structure of the website, the backlinking, the Google business profile, all the things that I do and help with, with home services and contractors. So now you guys see how the website structure plays a big role in pushing that listing to the top of the Google search results. Of course, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of more other factors too. You need great reviews. You need a great locally relevant backlinking structure for your business. You need backlinks from live websites that are related to the industry. You need your citations. You need all that stuff, brand recognition. There's a bunch of other factors, but this is one of the big ones in pushing that listing to the profile. I always tell people, where do you think that profile gets its information from? It gets it from the website connected to it. Where else would it possibly get it? How did Google know to place that junk removal website when I typed in refrigerator removal? It knew because we built a page for it and we clearly stated that he does appliance removals. So if you guys wanna learn how to do all of this stuff, I have my template that you can follow. It follows a complete pathway of how to kind of structure your own website like this. Or if you have somebody you've hired to build out your website, give them this example that I showed you how you should want your website structured with the interlinking and all those pages to make sure the structure is correct. So you're telling Google exactly what all the services you provide 
in that local market and you're very and you're being very very useful for the end user who will visit your website and like i said a lot of times they don't even visit the website they just click directly on the phone number on the google listing because it's more convenient for them so you can join my group it's in the description below you can Click on that and show it, and I'll show you how to do all of this stuff for yourself and for your own business. If you want to deal with any of this crap, you just want somebody else to do it for you. In that same link, there's a place where you can book a call with me. I can take a look at your business, see if I can help out and do some of this stuff for you instead so you don't have to deal with any of it. And if you guys want to see what I talk about with those backlinks, how you need some locally relevant backlinks, I created a video not too long ago where I talk about that, how that's super important in getting that business profile to the top of the search results. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.